total blowout. They had to call in another truck. Put through the phone. Oh. How long does the mix last? We ran our well dry. So okay. Welcome to our channel. I'm Kathy and that's Rich and we are living off grid in the Adirondacks of New York State while building a homestead from scratch on 135 acres so we can live a simpler life of freedom and sustainability. These are our depth gauges, right? Are you going to mark it? I want to be real good purpose of this is that, you know, it's to get you got the green. as close as we possibly can. Right. So that we don't overrun the, the Right. Yardage. You don't want to go into a separate day. Right. That would be a horrible idea. Well, that's the, that's the trick, right? You don't want to run out of concrete to, by going too deep. you don't want to over order, but you certainly don't want to run out either. All right. So the Shotcrete company was here today. And they got all set up. They have all their hoses and their pumpers and all sorts of equipment here. They climbed up on the dome and they put depth gauges in to make sure that they maintain the proper depth. The depth of the shot crate has to be four inches over most of the dome. Here it'll be like eight inches. And then in the corners, it'll be like 12 inches. They also climbed up on the dome, and what'd they put in for you, honey? Oh, they put like a little eye bolt with a beam, eye beam clamp to it. Just something that could be up there in the shot creek sticking up. It's about six inches, and uh, hopefully if we have to hang on to it, or for whatever reason, or tie off on it, at least we got something up there because... We're gonna need it. Because we have harnesses that we purchased so that we could climb around on the dome to help put the membrane on yeah. and the umbrella and a few other things. So that, that's a safety measure for us. And they also climbed up and took off the covering that we had on the chimney because the chimney is made of cardboard sano tubes. So they took that covering off. They put a couple of wires to hold the four inch edges in place because there's a lot of pressure with the shot crete. They actually said we did a really, really good job. They said this was great. We did a great job with the forming. It's really sturdy. They did make two recommendations. Yeah, so they actually helped us set up a couple of reinforcements which we put inside. Come Let's on, go check you. them out. Might be a little dark in here. But... So basically just something to push up on that area to make sure it doesn't come down on us. He said that because that's where it starts to turn. Yeah. It's actually the most, what's the word, um, weakest? Yeah, it's not yeah, weak. weak yeah, it's not weak down here where it's vertical. And he said it's really not weak where it's horizontal up top, which is where we thought it would be weak. He said it's really weak on the curve here. Right. So we put that there. And, and this area over the door. Right. And they're going to blow, what's the terminology, shoot? Spray. Spray very gently in certain areas and be careful. And somebody will be in here with a walkie-talkie communicating with somebody on the outside to make sure there's no blowouts or sagging. sagging. But he seems to think we're in good shape, that we did a really good job. Yeah. He was impressed. They were all impressed. There's like, what, six or seven guys? Yeah, this is a good crew. Awesome. Good looking crew. So Rich and I have just a couple of other things we have to do tonight to get ready. Yeah, hang on. I'll show you what it is. So what we have is what they call a cold joint water stop. 
it's some kind of, I don't know what it is, material that sort of swells up when it gets wet and it's, it's gonna seal up that seam where the concrete foundation meets the spray shotcrete. Is this two layers or one? It's one layer. It looks like it's two. And they want us to lay down a bead of uh, this uh, adhesive, stick this on top of it. I'll show you where it goes. Well, we have to clean this first too, right? Wow, this has to be spotlessly clean. It goes like this, right along the rebar on the outside around the perimeter of the building. We're going to glue it down with this stuff and they want us to shoot it in with the Hilti gun every 36 inches. I you know what? That. I've got to go double check that quick. All right. We have to move the ladders. We have to clean up and make the area around the dome um, workable for the guys. And then we have to clean up and put that in. And what else do we have to do besides that? There's two little pieces of wire in the top that I wanted to put into that I forgot. Oh, you didn't do those yet? No, I didn't get those. Oh, that my God. And, All right, uh, there's the list. Oh, the conduit. I got to do an electrical conduit uh, by, the, by For the, our solar system room. to come into the yep. utility room. So we have a couple of things. And the sun is setting, so we're going to be up pretty late tonight again. But hopefully it's our last late night because tomorrow is the big day. I want to start on the dark side, that way we still have light over here when, by the time we finish up. We're going to start on the dark side. The dark side, the dark side of the dome. Yeah. <laughs> I never used this before. I've never used a caulking gun this big before. It's gigantic. All right, ready? We're gonna try one right here. Ready? Yep. Misfire. Got oh. one. You all right? Yeah. Is that normal? Not enough. Try again. Maybe we something. Maybe something didn't happen. Tomorrow is the shotcrete. It's literally eight o'clock at night and the Hilti gun's not working right. Not enough uh, power in these loads. They told us to get the lightest loads. And you bought the second lightest. You bought... Because they didn't have the lightest. Three shots. Same nail. Nothing. It looks like it went in. Nah. Well, the good thing is we could hammer them right in with a hammer. What? Okay. So we'll go around and we'll hit them in with the Hilti gun and then hit them in with the hammer. That's stupid. How come this it thing is doesn't stupid. even have the punch? It's after nine o'clock at night. Richie's still up there working, finishing up. The Hilti gun just did not work properly, so we had to go around and put it down, and he had to nail everyone in by hand after hitting them in with the Hilti gun. We don't know if it's the Hilti gun. We don't know if it's the shots. We were told to get the lightest loads. We got the light and the medium. We didn't have anything heavier, and of course, we laid it to the last minute to do it because we were told to wait till the last minute to do it. So, just when we thought we might get a good night's sleep, we don't. Good morning, today's the big day. It's early, early, the sun's not even really up yet, and we're waiting for everybody to arrive. Richie's up at the house, getting ready. This thing was out here last night, last night at 10 o'clock. I just think it's so weird that it's still here. This is the last time it'll look like this from the outside. How's this look? Looks great. It looks great. All right, good. So that was fun last night. They say to wait because this this is like a clay membrane and it can't get wet because it holds moisture. So it's going to have enough of a time today. 
We got it done, though. We got it done. Oh, let's go in here. So there's our view of the entire dome enclosed. It's going to be an exciting, exciting day today. And so it begins. First cement truck has arrived. Concrete's flowing. Whatever the jam was, they got it out. Critical corner, they're spraying right here, and it's holding together just fine. Number two, pumping. Quick emergency fix to hold that piece of wood in place. We just realized that that wasn't nailed or screwed down. And they're about to hit this spot. Little debris comes through. It's not the end of the world. So the holes get plugged up. And that's actually pretty cool. So some of you might be wondering what exactly is shot crate? And from what we were told, it's really just your basic 4,000 PSI concrete, just like what was poured in our slab. The big difference being that instead of having larger stones in it, it has very, very small little pebbles in it. It's delivered in a regular concrete truck, like any other concrete, and then it is pumped into a pumper and shot through a hose and they can control the rate at which it comes out of the hose, which for a building like this is extremely important. They shoot the shotcrete in eight foot rises, I guess you would call it. So they went and did eight feet around the entire bottom of the house to a full thickness of four inches, making sure the depth gauges are covered. And then they went around and they started to do another eight foot rise. You see that there's two guys working together. 
the one guy is using like a blow hose to blow away all the pebbles that sort of collect in different areas to make sure that shotcrete really gets into all the little nooks and crannies. When they get to the top third of the dome, they can't apply it in a four inch thick coating the first time. Because of the weight and the pressure, what they need to do is apply about an inch and a half of the shotcrete allow it to harden and then go back and apply the rest of the four inches on top of that. That is done to specifically prevent any cave-ins or sags. Shooting shotcrete is a specialized skill and each and every one of the nozzle operators are certified through the American Shotcrete Association. How close are they to that area by where we put that brace in? I can hear it. I see no movement at all. There's no movement at all. Looks good. Excellent. off the ground. <laughs> they said it's okay. looks absolutely perfect. It's looking good. I don't see any sign of anything moving at all. So far so good, looks good. Cement truck number three just arrived. that come in once in a while. That's nothing, as long as it's not caving in and collapsing. They're getting to the tough part right now. They're still on the entry.
crap. Total blowout. Total blowout. Inside trying to get it fixed right now. That is the blowout debris. They're up there trying to brace everything. Oh. Wow. I know. How That's come? Terrible. The top needs to be done very gentle, but there was a lot of concrete near the parapet wall, and it was too much for that part of the dome. Filled it in a little bit. They're trying to make sure there's no void. They're by the chimney now, sweetie. You should brace that too. Tell me what you need, honey. I need balance and skill. So the guys fixed the blowout and then they braced up the chimney and they decided to add a whole bunch of extra braces just in case. And those braces did the trick for the rest of the job. But we didn't know then that there was more in store for us. Oh, that breeze feels so good. It's so hot right now. So that was a foot through the foam, not a blowout. 
Oh well. They're fixing it. We should be back in business soon. Hopefully not too much longer and we'll be done. It'll be interesting to pull the foam off and see what we've got inside. Um, you're not staying there when they spray it, are you? I gotta get out of here in a hurry. Yeah, hurry up. Well, what do you think? Huh? They're right above your head right now. I think yeah. it's going to be okay. It sucks. It does. I'm sorry for yelling at you. I was panicking. I lost my walkie talkie. I couldn't call you. Never, you didn't take it with you. You didn't no, lose it. Because I saw it full okay. I ran. Maybe we'll have to do more mud work than we thought. A couple areas, that's for sure. It was an accident. He didn't mean to put his foot through. Number five is done. They had to call in another truck, truck number six, so they could finish it up. That should be it, hopefully. They're checking the mix. It's been sitting for a while. Hopefully it's still good. How long does the mix last? Just tell them to take it easy. Let it harden quick. I can see ties that aren't even like tied anymore. I think they broke. See how the rebar ties up here, right up over my head? Yes. Popped open? Yes. That's where I got nervous. Because that's the spot they're doing. Yeah. Two of them popped. We just put 132 tons of concrete on our dome. Wow, they got it done. <laughs> Sun shower, it actually feels good. So we ran our well dry. It looks that way. Wow. They need a lot of water right this minute. Yeah, Maybe we could use what's in the camper or the cistern. A little bit. No pressure. There's no pressure. We have no water. Right, right now. Well, we did run that all day for hours and hours and hours. But you know, that wasn't even a concern. What time is it? 2.15. Oh, yeah, it's all day. 7, 7.15 this morning. Non-stop. Does the pump automatically shut off? We had an F09 error message. I don't know what that is. How long were we out of water for? Just now. We made it all day, right to the last drop of water. Yeah. Wow. All right, it fills at five gallons a minute. Theoretically, it's a drought. So five gallons a minute if it fills and we drained it down to, how deep are we? 480, 400 feet. 400 feet and it's a gallon and a half per foot. Let me do some math. So what's going on? Generator won't start. There it is. They're done, they're cleaning up. We had a couple of sketchy calls. Had to put some extra supports in. I don't know what's gonna happen when we pull down this foam, but we'll definitely be having a big reveal. Look at all that there. That was the blowout. 
that was the foot through the roof. And this is where the foam just started to fall down. So we'll see. What do you got there, Richie? We'll see, we'll see. That looks pretty good. That looks great. I'll take that. Oh, it's hot. Yeah. It's hot. Wow. You know what? They were a great bunch of guys. Great bunch of guys. Yes, we did. We're going to love racing. Stay tuned for the big reveal, everybody. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next video. Rich got a lesson on the man lift, and now he's up on the dome.